everyone. I'm Jennifer, and with me today is Catherine Davis, Director of Product Marketing. So we're here today to talk to you about the new email editor. We are super excited to share the news with you. So Catherine, can you tell us a little bit more about it? I absolutely can, Jennifer. As you know, email marketing is still one of the most cost-effective and best-performing B2B communication channels. So it made total sense to us to improve the tool and make it work even better for you. You'll see that it's much easier to create, send and track email campaigns. And I have to say that I think it's a dream to work with. I'm really excited now. So what are some of those new features? Well, there's plenty of new features, but a few of them that I like to mention are the new drag and drop user interface, which makes it a lot more intuitive or well, very much intuitive to work with. But there's also more fields for personalization. There's a massive library of royalty free images to use and you can save and reuse custom blocks, which makes it a lot faster to create messages. Cool. So show me what it looks like. I'd love to. Now, here I am in SuperOffice Marketing, and I'm just going to start a new mailing. The first step is to set up my mailing example with a title, choose the type of mailing, subject fields, and so on. This is as you always set up a mailing. But before we continue into the editor, I want to draw your attention to this field for Google Analytics. Is that a new field? No, it's not new, but when you click it, you'll see that there's two new fields underneath it. These additional fields here that is more precisely specify this mailing when it's uh, tracked in Google. So what you're saying is that you're making it a lot easier to identify mailings as a source of traffic in analytics. Yes. That is really good to know. Now I'm ready to choose my template. I could create the email from scratch, but to save some time, I'll start with a ready template like this one. Now we're here in the new drag and drop editor where we can create our content. At first glance, it may look similar, but you'll soon discover it's very different to work with. The left panel here gives me the main components of the email and various options to define these components. And here in the center screen is where I will work with the actual content of my email. For example, to write or edit text, I can just highlight and start typing. So I don't have to work in the small side panel to create my content like it is in the old editor. Aha. Uh -huh. So now I can see how things look as I create them. I like that. Yes, me too. But let me show you why we call this our new drag and drop editor. If I want to add another column, I just grab the icon and then drag it and drop it into where I want it. I can very quickly adjust the look of this column. I can move it about. Or if I change my mind, I can just click the undo button and remove it all together, or I can redo if I change my mind again. Nice. So then I see that it can be a lot faster to create new email messages in this new editor. So what about personalizing emails? How do you do that? Easy. Just click on this merge tag field and then just see what fields from SuperOffice are available to me. I can then select one or many, the ones I want, and the merge fields that are ready and in place. I see that there are a lot more fields available than before. Yes, there is. And this means that you can personalize a lot more than before as well, which is particularly relevant if you, for example, are communicating with your existing customers, where you typically have a lot more information available in your CRM database. Perfect. I can't wait to try this out. Catherine, you mentioned that there's a large library of royalty-free images earlier. Can you tell me more about that? Yes, this editor comes with a huge library of images ready to be used. Of course, you can still add your own images. But to access this library, I just click on images here on the side panel and then browse and search for the image I want. All the images are tagged, so you can just search like you would in Google. And once you find the image you want, just drag it in. You can also adjust the image size, color, and text, and so on. So working with images is for sure a lot more flexible in this editor. I love it. I can say that I use a whole heck of a lot of time trying to find the right pictures. And then when I find the right pictures, it costs you know, quite a bit of money sometimes to buy the pictures themselves. So I love it that you've made it very easy to search for this library of um, photos. And not only that, 
<laughs> they're free. It's so much more usable. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. So Catherine, a lot of people read emails on their mobile phones. How does responsive design work? I'm glad you asked, because the answer is literally just a click of a button. Responsive design is a lot easier to get right with this new feature where I can instantly sw switch between a desktop and the mobile view like this. Yes, I can see that this reduces testing time and it means that we can get things done a lot faster. Tell me about the content blocks you mentioned. Yeah, content blocks is one of the main components and the easiest way to create templates, actually. Once you've found it, or once you've created a content section looking the way that you wanted to, you could just save it as a customized block and then you can easily reuse it in a different mailing. Really nice. But Catherine, so, you know, there's always follow-up activities after an email goes out. How would I handle that in the new email editor? Adding a call to action button, for example, is easy because you can just grab it from the menu and then drag and drop it in. Change the look and then specify where a click should take the recipient. But that's not all, of course. Since you're working in SuperOffice, you can call what we call we, you can create what we call special links that, for example, define that when somebody clicks on a button or a link to sign up, the person is automatically added as a member to a project or a selection, or that a follow-up activity is registered in somebody's diary, and so on. Here you have many different options. Yes, I see that there's a real advantage to having the mailing feature um, integrated or as a part of your CRM solution. That's very useful. Absolutely. And once I have defined my special link, I can select it as a call to action, either on my text or as a button like this. So how does it work with the social media buttons? Well, adding links to social media channels is also a question of drag and drop. Just choose how you want the buttons to look and then specify your channels like this. Once you're done with creating a content, you continue to the next step and add recipients and send it out like you're used to. Similarly, you find reports for mailings like before. So the main news I wanted to show you today was the new editor features and the Google Analytics tracking. Thank you, Catherine. I really like what you've shown me today. So my next question is, when will our customers get to use this? Well, all online customers already have access to this as of February 24th, and a version will be available to download sometime later in March for those customers who have SuperOffice installed on the premises. What about any current templates or scheduled mailings I might have? Do I have to worry about that? No, all scheduled mailings will run as planned and look the same. There's nothing, nothing has changed with these. So at the moment, both the old and the new editor are available to our online customers. So if you create a new mailing with one of your existing templates, for example, it will open the old editor and you can continue creating a mailing as you've always done. It just means that you don't have the benefits of the new editor, of course. But when it comes to any templates that you have specifically made for your company, our recommendation is that these are recreated in the new editor. Recreate, can I just import them? No, it's not possible to import them. You do need to create the new templates in the new e email editor from scratch. But the time you need to will depend, of course, on the number of templates and the complexity of these. But to give you an example, it took our super user a day or so to play around with the editor and learn what she needed to do so that she could recreate our five templates and update our internal guide. And this only took her a day or two to do. So having access to the old editor in the meantime means that there's no rush to get the new templates in place and that you can spend some time getting to know the new editor first. Uh-huh. Well, that sounds like a really good plan. So in the meantime, I can use the templates available in our online library, right? Like the one you used in your example? Yes, you're right. All templates in the online library that comes with SuperOffice will open the new drag and drop editor. So where do I get some help if I need it? Because sometimes I need that just a little bit of extra help while I'm uh, working on uh, certain activities. Well, there's always help documentation inside the software and there are how to guides and tutorials in our community site. But don't forget, that's also possible to book a training session or even a consultant or, or have a consultant come from us or a partner to help you with recreating your templates and show you what you need to, to, to know. 
That is really good to know because sometimes it's just very nice to have that personal touch um, and someone to reach out to when you need that help. So thank you for sharing with us today, Catherine. And thank you everyone for watching. Bye until next time. Bye.